I am Anil Kumar and in this video, Modeling Sinusoidal Functions, I will give you a few tips which can help you save time and derive at a trigonometric equation very efficiently. Here is a very interesting and actually an excellent question for you. Determine the sine and cosine function for the periodic function with following characteristics. First positive maximum of 7 at 60 degrees and first positive minimum of 3 at 780 degrees. You can pause the video, solve, get the equation and then see how it can be done very efficiently. Now here is how I will do it. Whenever you are trying to model with sinusoidal function, you should actually begin with a sinusoidal function. That means uh, just draw a sine wave. I mean don't think much. Just draw a sine wave, right? Now read the question and write down the things which you learn from the given conditions. It says first positive maximum of 760 degrees. Now whenever you are drawing a sine wave, then along the x-axis you have theta which is in degrees. Therefore, we can write the coordinates as 60 degrees and 7 is the magnitude which should become as y coordinate, right? So that should be very clear to you. The second says first positive minimum for 3 at 780. So minimum value is also positive. That's what they are trying to say. At times I have seen students getting confused with that part. Well, it is to trick you, right? So 780 should be written first since degrees, the theta, the angle, is your independent variable, right? Depending on that, we have the magnitude and that gives you the sine wave. Now, since we started with the maximum and that point is given to us, so our preferred equation in this case should be cosine. Do you get the point? So what we will do is, we will try to write equation as y equals to k cos a times cos k x minus phase shift plus the axis which you can write d. Right. So this is the form of equation which I am going to uh, explore. Correct. Now to find all these parameters, to find a, what do we need? We need difference between maximum and minimum divide by 2, right? That is A. So we can now write A equals to maximum minus minimum divide by 2. In our case, it is 7. Minimum is 3 divide by 2. That is 4 over 2, which is 2. So we know A. Now what is D? These are easy things to work with and you should work with them first. D is the average value. So that means average of maximum and minimum, correct? So you add them and then divide by 2. So don't have to think much about it. Just do it. So you get the average value. Now k is the time period. Now those of you uh, who would like to write equation in radians can actually translate degrees to radians and do it. But I will do it in degrees itself. Normally, if you are given values in degrees, you should write answer in degrees. Correct? Now to find k, what should we do? Well, we have to find the time period first, right? K is 360 divided by the time period, right? So we need to find time period. Now, what is the time period in this case? Since we are given maximum and minimum, the time period will be two times this difference or you can say half of the time period is this difference, right? So that is 780 degrees minus 60 degrees and that is 700 and I mean 20, right? So time period in this case is 720 times 2, which is 1440. Okay, let me write 1440 here. So time period is 1440. Now in our equation, k, this value, is 360 degrees divided by the time period. That means this, right? So let me write it in terms of 720 into 2. It becomes easy to calculate. So that is also time saving. You are getting my idea, right? Multiply and then, you know, simplify. No. So 720 times, let me write it within 2. So this could be simplified, correct? And written as 360 goes 2 times, right? So you get 1 over 4 as the value of k. Got it. So we got k also. Now phase shift. Phase shift, when a cosine function starts with a maximum, 
since it starts at 60 we know phase shift or let me write here now p is equal to 60 itself right to the right positive value so that gives me the equation for the cosine function see how easy it is so we get y equals 2 amplitude is 2 a is 2 right cos of k value is 1 by 4 x minus 60 which is given to us plus d which we found as 5 correct so that is the equation which you get in as a cosine function correct now that's kind of simpler because we really didn't have to work for the phase shift now how to write the sine function now to understand the sine function what you should do is you'll always observe that the time period let's say this is your time period right whenever you're looking for the key parameters for a sine or cosine function then the whole time period which in this case will be this much so that is the time period which for us is really 720 times 2 or 1440 so the time period here is 1440 degrees correct that is the time period we found correct there it is now this time period is divided into four equal parts to get your key parameters right half of that is as we found 720 right half of it and we are not considering the phase shift. I'm just telling you how where the positions are what I'm trying to say is time period is T this value is T over 4 this value is I mean this value is T over 2 this value is T over 4 correct so what we really see is that sine wave starts quarter value before do you see that because the cost value if you compare with the sine value then it is quarter of the time period to the right. Now the sine value is quarter to the time period to the left if I am writing it as a sine function. So the relation between cos function and sine function is, is what? If I have cos theta, then if I have to write sine theta, then what do, what do I do? I do theta and then do plus time period divided by 4, quarter of the time period. Do you understand? Quarter of the cycle. Because it starts earlier. Okay? So in this case, what is T over 4? That is what we need to find. Is that okay? So in our case, T over 4, a quarter of the cycle is indeed 1440 is the cycle divided by 4. Do you see that? So when you divide 1440 by 4, you get 360 degrees. That is a quarter of the cycle and therefore you can write sine function straight away once you get your cosine function as see cosine was easy therefore I'm telling first go for cosine sine as everything else remains same amplitude axis or the time period the phase shift changes so it changes you have to add quarter of the cycle so we already had x minus 60 add quarter of the cycle which is 360 do you get it plus 5 and then you get your final equation so now let me push this a bit here we can write this as final equation which is 2 sine of 1 over 4 and when you do your math here 360 minus 60 is 300 you get your final equation do you get it so that is how you can get your sine function once you get cosine function. I hope you find it very interesting and easy way of doing it. You don't really have to sketch a neat graph and do your math. Do you understand? So this little thing here helps you to translate equation from one form to the other, right? Now, in case you get equation in sine, and you have to write in cosine then what should you do you have to do theta minus quarter cycle and you get your equation correct so that is how you can model such situation and get to the equation very quickly i hope you understand and appreciate it 
what you can also do once you write your equation plug in these points 60 and C that you get 7 as the result right or 780 degrees should give you 3 as the output right that should make you show that your equation is perfect it takes a minute with these calculators to do it so go ahead check your answer and let me know if you appreciate the method I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot thank you and all the best